Troy from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by AppliancePhysio.com. Okay, today we're looking at a Maytag Quiet Series 200 gas dryer. The customer is stating that the unit does not heat and is not drying for them. Being that's not heating or drying, it could be a few different things. But first, I want to confirm the complaint and I want to go ahead and start the dryer to see if we do generate any heat. I'm going to set it to just a normal time dry, regular heat. It doesn't really matter about anything else. Um, and start the unit. And I'm going to let the unit run for a few minutes. I could hear an initial click when I first turn it on. That typically tells me that, that the igniter is now starting. So I'm going to wait and see if I hear an additional click. And if I hear the additional click, that's telling me that the actual coils are opening to let gas in. And there went the click. To let gas in so it'll go ahead and heat. Now if I was to open the door right now, it would start to be a little bit warm. I'm going to wait another five seconds or so, and then I'll check for heat inside. OK, so now it's been running. I'm going to go ahead and just check. And there is heat inside. So what that tells me is that the thermostat and the fuses and everything are functioning properly. The igniter's igniting and the coils are opening right now. But what it also tells me is that if the customer is not able to get a complete dry out of the unit, that the coils are opening when they're cold, but once they warm up, they stop opening. So it'll open, it'll probably heat for maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes, but then it'll stop heating because the coils will no longer open anymore. So what I'm gonna do is pull the back off to make sure I got proper airflow out the back of the unit, just the back vent to make sure good flow is coming out. If I have good flow, what I'm going to do is go ahead and replace the coils on this unit. Okay, for the repair on the Maytag dryer, gas dryer, replacing the coils, what I had used was my putty knife, to open the top, I'd use the 5 16 nut driver to remove the screws from the front panel. I use a flashlight to be able to see better inside the dryer where I was replacing the coils. I did use a screwdriver to check the venting in the back to remove it from the dryer to make sure that I do have good flow coming out of the back of the unit. And I also used my short extension for my Phillips screwdriver with my little uh, ratchet so I can get into the tight place and change the coils without having to remove any more of the unit. Okay, now on this particular unit, we're gonna be replacing the gas coils. They're located, I believe, right down here on this, this side inside the unit. So what we have to do is we must lift the panel up, the top panel, flip it up, and be able to access some screws that hold the front plate on. So first thing we need to do is unplug the unit. Once the unit is unplugged, you may be able to take a flashlight and look along the edge between the two pieces and notice where there is a tab that you can push on. The rest of the space you'll be able to go right through. When you find that tab, you push the tab in, lift up on the top. The unit will start to open. Do the same thing on the other side, the top will pop open. Once the unit's top is open, you can flip it up. And then you're going to, inside the unit, you're going to have a couple 5 16 six inch screws, one on each side, and a few wires that you're going to want to disconnect to be able to access uh, the panel to take it all the way off. And what I like to do is take my phone, if you have a smartphone, and use it to take a picture of where the wires go, just for your own benefit, then you know where you have to replace them back to again. Okay, now you may not be able to see all the wires on this side, but there are three different wires in this corner, two wires that come over to the light, there's a, a bolt right here, the same exact one is on the other side. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the wires. Going to remove the, the bolts or screws. Okay, so once you get the screws removed and the wires unplugged, 
the unit face, you should be able to just pull it forward a little bit. Once it pulls forward, you can let the top set back down, if, or if you have it back far enough to the wall where you can push it and leave the top rested against the wall, you can do so. Once you tip it forward, the, the front panel hangs on two hinges on the bottom. So you tip it forward a little bit, picked it up, and then it comes off the hinges that it sets on on the bottom. And then you can set your door aside. Okay, once you remove the front panel, you'll be able to see your coils. Once you can see your coils, they're either going to be mounted like this, or they may be mounted a little bit higher. Uh, but either way, they're going to be mounted the same way. They have a screw here and a screw on the back side. They're either going to be on this side or on the other side, depending on how this bracket mounts on. So what I'm going to do is you need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I like to use my small ratchet with a minimal extension on it. When I do that, I'm able to get in there and take it apart um, fairly easily. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking them apart. There's two screws that I have to loosen up to get off. Once you remove the screws, the bracket that holds it in place should lift up and come right out. When you take your coils off, I would take one at a time. And something to remember about the bigger coil, and that is this coil that I'm about to replace right here. It's the new coil. It's the one with the three prongs on it, the three plugs. This one, when you take it off, sometimes it has this, this metal sleeve attached to it, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's stuck inside the coil, um, sometimes it stays on the shaft. Either way, you need to make sure you retain that metal slide, this metal slide right here. You must retain it to stay on the coil shaft coming out of the valve. So I got the front one off. I'm going to remove it. Attach the new coil, set it back in place, grab the one from the back side of it, remove it, set the new one in place. You will notice on them, they do only go on one way, meaning they have little tabs sticking out the top of both of them, so that when you put your cover back on, it has the same holes to hold them in the proper position. So I'm going to reattach my bracket. They're set back in place. I can now reattach my screws. Okay, once we have the coils reattached into the unit, plugged back in, secured back in place, we're going to now reattach the front panel. It has the two clips that it sets on down at the bottom. So you take your front panel, you locate your clips, you set it inside the clips, lift up your top. I lift it up and just rest it on my shoulder. Because once I get this back on here enough, it'll hold itself back in place. I can now take my screws and find the holes, put them back in the holes, get them both started, one on each side. And use your 5 16th nut driver to tighten them back down all the way. Once you've got them tightened back down all the way, you need to remember to reattach your wires. Once you have your wires reattached, you set the top back down and 
push and it sets and locks back in place. And there it completes our repair for the Maytag dryer replacing the coils. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.